Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. This is Palak Sharma and in today's video, we'll be discussing about my interview experience at Flipkart, how I applied for it, how was my interview experience and obviously what are the important topics that you should focus on if you are applying for interview for SD1 role at Flipkart. From the time I have posted it on LinkedIn that I have been selected for SD1, I have been receiving lots of queries regarding this th these things only. So I decided to make a video, a detailed video on this and here it is. Also, it's been a long time since I have posted on YouTube and I have been receiving lots of comments that why are you not active on YouTube like from past one month. So guys, I know you missed me because I have been receiving lots of comments, but, but, but. Actually, what happened was all of my interviews were lined up uh, in the same month of J my May and June. And basically what happened was after my interview experience were uh, after my interviews were completed, my end semester exams were also in June only. So I did not get any time to shoot any of the video for YouTube. But 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 good news is I have now settled in Bangalore and I'll be shooting YouTube videos continuously. So I'll, I'll, I'll try to make them more 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 worthy content to come and yeah the podcast series will resume I'll try to connect with more people and will try to bring more experiences in my podcast series as well so without any further ado let's get started with the video first thing first how did I applied at Flipkart I applied to Flipkart through a LinkedIn post there was a post from a LinkedIn influencer that there is an opportunity for Flipkart SD1 role and UI roles. If you guys want to apply, you can apply through this particular form. So I applied through that through that form and after a month, I got the online assessment round. So first round was online assessment round. In that round, there were three questions that were to be solved in 90 minutes. Uh, talking about my experience, uh, I solved two questions completely and for the third question, I solved seven out of nine test cases. So I was confident that uh, I have solved almost all of the th three questions so I'll be getting the next interview round that I would like to give about online assessment section is that focus on your code quality how are you writing the code what what are you naming the constants and the variables that you are taking how are you naming those and also try to focus on uh, how modular your code is how readable your code is how formatted your code is also, there is one more thing that I have done in this OA only. I haven't done in any of the OA previously. What happened was that in the third question, I got seven test cases correct, but two test cases were not passing. So what I did was that at the last moment, I, I got the approach that yes, we can do it through this particular thing and what edge cases was missing, I got that. But only one minute was left and I was not able to code that, that particular approach in one minute only. So what I did was I put a comment and I write down all of my approach that, that was there in my mind that how I would solve these, this uh, particular question for the two edge cases that are missing. So I wrote that in that particular code area. I'm not sure if anyone has read it or I'm not sure if anyone has not read it because what happened was key but I am confident that if someone has read it then it would have made a good impression that yeah that girl knows what what she is doing and what she wanted to do but due to time limit she is not able to do it so you guys can like follow this particular technique as well okay light has come and now we can move in the video further so after the online assessment was over, after a week I got an update that I was selected for the interview rounds and there were two technical interview rounds and one hiring manager round that were scheduled in the, like, in the upcoming days. All the rounds were eliminatory in nature. Basically what happened was in my two technical rounds, I was asked questions based on DSA only. They were majorly focusing on DSA for the first two technical rounds. Both of the technical rounds happened on the same day. Uh, the first round happened in the morning and all of the all of the students who have cleared the first round got the selection mail for the second round in the afternoon only. And the second round happened in the evening at around 4 p.m. In the first round, I was asked two DSA question. One was based on stack hard question and another was uh, based on dynamic programming. It was also in the range of medium to hard only. But I was able to code both of them. I was able to uh, tell my approach to the interviewer and also I was able to uh, code both of them in 45 minutes only. So we had obviously 15 minutes left and we chit chat uh, a little bit with the interviewer. 
uh, after that in the second round there were two questions also in the first question was based on a hard question for tree and the second question was a uh, like a puzzle type question it was a mathematics type of question it was not based on any standard dsa question but it was very tough kind of so i solved th those both questions also in 45 to 50 minutes only and then i ch chatted with interview after both of the round both of the questions were solved so i was confident that i have given my interviews very clearly and i have was able to tell all of my approaches to the interviewer like br better brute force and all the optimal approaches i was able to tell after the second round was over i got a selection mail for the hiring manager round it was stating that the hiring manager round is scheduled for one day after the technical interview rounds was over so after one day i was having my hr interview round and obviously the hiring manager round is so unpredictable you don't know what they are going to ask you they can ask you resume based question they can ask you situational based question they can ask you cs fundamentals they can ask you questions based on your previous experiences previous internships and also they can ask you hr questions like why are you leaving your previous companies what are the values of flipkart they can ask anything so in the hiring manager round it is unpredictable you just have to be honest and tell true answers in that round and it is it is a cake walk round but 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 not a cake walk i would say but <laughs> basically it, it's it's unpredictable round it can it can it can take any form in your uh, interview round so i was quite prepared for hiring manager round as well i prepared my cs fundamentals i prepared my dev related questions that they can ask me for my mern stack and all apart from that the tips that i would like to give you about the technical rounds are that uh, try to focus on your clarity of mind try to think but while is speaking uh, basically try to communicate your thoughts to the interviewer and think and communicate what you are thinking to the interviewer as well so that they can help you they can give you hints as well so in the hiring manager round they asked me many questions related to cs fundamentals related to operating systems and they also asked me related to they also asked me several questions related to server databases mongodb and like the, the, that particular interview round of 1 hour was looking like a startup interview round because i have already given many startups interviews so i was quite comfortable in that round as well after that round was over in the next day evening i got a mail that i have been selected in flipkart for the role of sd1 and after a few weeks i got my offer letter as well so yeah that was it about the experience i hope you have received some of the tips and also the the process the interview round process is clear to you guys if you have any doubts or you want to ask me anything you can just comment down in the section or either you can connect with me on linkedin as well or on instagram whether wherever you are comfortable you can connect with me and ask me your doubts and all of the links will be mentioned in the description only so till then take care bye bye i'll meet you in the next video bye bye the tips that i would like to share about interview round technical interview round is that always whenever you see a question don't get worried that i am not able to understand the code i am not able to understand the approach that i should use don't get worried try to remain calm and also whenever you are solving whenever you are making an approach communicate your thought to the interviewer so that he or she can know that at what path you are what data structures you are thinking of and also they can provide you some hints try to talk with interviewer if you are not getting the question properly or if you are not getting the approach properly nobody gets that at the first time try to give as many interviews as you can apply as much as you can these would be my some of the tips that that can really help you ace an interview